There's a bigger dream waiting for you, just waiting for you to step into it, to step into it. Your life is big. Your life is huge. And we spend so much time wanting to be in somebody else's life. And you don't get honored, you don't get revered, you don't get celebrating wanting what somebody else has because that which created you, divine intelligence that dreamed you from before your ancestors ever knew they would become your ancestors, that which dreamed the seed of you wants you to know how special, how wondrous, how mysterious, how complex, how glorious, how phenomenal you are. And you get no credit messing in somebody else's territory or trying to have power over something you have no control. Another one of my favorite teachings is the Wizard of Oz. When the witch, Wicked Witch of the West says, go away from here because you don't have any power here, you have no power in any territory other than your own. Oh, but you are the master of that. You get to be the master of your own fate. You get to be the captain of your own soul. And if you just manage that, if you just took care of your territory, Oh, the glorious, 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 wondrous, wondrous opportunities and possibilities that are waiting for you. So the question is, what are you resisting? What are you pushing against? What are you not allowing? What are you blocking? Because you have this idea of who and what you're supposed to be instead of leaning into the dream that's already been created and waiting for you. It's waiting for you. And the second, I mean, it doesn't, it's an instant thing. It's a shift in the way you see yourself and the power from which you have come.